My name is Oleander Yuba. I want to give you a speech on happiness. Happiness is a state of mind. Yes, I know children, you must be wondering what's wrong with Ms. Oleander today. <laughs> Nothing's wrong with me. I'm trying to show you what will happen if you start your speech that way. Did you enjoy my speech? Did you enjoy the way I started? Did you like it? Of course not. I know you didn't like it. Now, would you want me to show you how to start your speech so that people can love your speech? Yes, I will show you. But before then, can you tell me why you did not like my speech? Can you tell me? Yes, you said I wasn't smiling, I was frowning. That's true, that's one, wrong. So it's wrong to start your speech that way. It's wrong to come in and look at your audience without smiling. It's wrong to frown. When you're starting your speech so you should smile always smile when you smile it makes people accept you they'll be happy to have you they'll want to listen to you but when you're frowning they'll say mm, what's wrong with that girl what's wrong with that boy and they'll just switch off their minds and they wouldn't want to listen to you so you should smile whether it's a physical event, what I mean is whether it's a presentation where you have to go there, okay, and stand on the stage to present, or it's a presentation on Zoom, or a recorded one, where mommy videos you while you're speaking, anyone you have, any presentation you want to make, ensure that you smile before you start, okay? That's one. Two, did you like the way I was speaking? I was speaking like someone who was sad. There was no fire in my voice. I wasn't speaking with any energy. I was just talking slowly. Did you like it? Of course not. I know you like it when I'm speaking because you can see my face light up. My eyes are shining brightly. I am smiling. I am using my hands. And that makes you interested in what I'm saying. So when you're making a speech, you should move your hands. Okay. You should also ensure that your voice is lively. So you don't speak like someone who's sad. You speak with energy in your voice. Okay. Next, I was just standing, I was just seated this way and looking straight ahead i wasn't looking at anybody so when you have a speech you should make what we call eye contact look at your audience look at the people you're talking to look at them and smile at them okay so look at the people you're talking to while speaking like i'm looking at you now so you don't stare blankly into space find a face among the people you're talking to and look at that face look at different faces and you'll see your audience will be happy to listen to you next ensure that you stand tall and straight do not slouch okay do not relax into your couch no or into your chair no it's called slouching so don't slouch rather you have to stand tall okay don't bend your shoulders no you have to stand erect and tall okay good so how many things have i mentioned i've mentioned that you should what smile smile two you should look at your audience look at the people you're talking to don't just look into the air or into space look at the people you're talking to next you should stand tall and don't slouch okay again you shouldn't just stand like a statue you should move your hands and your face 
You should show by your facial expressions what you're saying. When you're happy, you show you're happy. When you're sad, you show it in your face. So when I'm saying something that's not um, funny or something that's, that will make someone sad, a story that's not a good story, so I'm going to show by my face. For instance, if I'm talking about my cat and my cat died, I'm going to say, oh, and so my cat died. Oh, and the people say, oh, so sorry. See? So that's why you show by your facial expressions and your body movement that you mean what you're saying. So you don't say, oh, I am happy. I'm happy. I'm excited today. And then your face looks like a rock. <laughs> Will you do that? So don't do that. Okay, when you're happy, you show you're happy, you smile. When you're telling a sad story, you make a sad face. Okay, so I've mentioned many things already. Let me see what I'm forgetting. You should smile, you should stand tall, and then you should be confident. Okay, you should be confident. Don't be scared of anybody. Don't be scared of anybody. Nobody would flog you, you know that. Nobody would flog you when you will have a speech. Instead, everybody is waiting to hear your speech and to give you a super clap and a round of applause okay so don't be scared enjoy yourself and have fun all right then i said to look at your audience next you should speak up okay don't say i am here to talk about happiness no you should speak up okay i want to talk to you about happiness you speak up and finally I would like to tell you about how to introduce your topic how to tell people what you want to say so instead of saying I want to talk to you about happiness you can simply say something exciting you can ask a question have you ever heard about the word happiness what do you think is the meaning of happiness? Have you ever felt happy before? What was your happiest day ever? Have you ever been happy before? How many questions have I asked now? I've asked up to four questions, see? And they are exciting questions. So tell me which one you like. Tell me which one you prefer. Which one do you like? Do you like, I want to talk to you about happiness? Or you like the one where I asked you questions? Like, have you heard about the word happiness? Have you ever been so happy that you forgot to eat? That was what happened to me on the day my mum bought me a piano. See? So, you can start your speech in an exciting way. You can start with, with a question. You can start with a story. You can start with a statement. Okay, you can just say something that will make people want to listen to you. For instance, you want to talk about your worst day ever. Your worst day ever. You can say, and so, Bruno died. Now, when you say this, what do you think everyone would do? They would want to listen. Oh, who's Bruno? And what happened to him? Why did he die? And then you say, it happened on this very rainy day. It was a sad day. And my mum woke me up and said, James, Please come. And then I ran downstairs and mom showed me my little puppy. He was gasping for air. He was gasping for air. And I told mommy, please, can we save him? What's wrong? What's happening? What's happening, mommy? And mommy said, let's try to save him. Mommy quickly got some food and some medicine and gave to Bruno. And Bruno tried to eat, but then he stopped breathing. That 
was my worst day ever. But let me tell you how I got to meet Bruno. What did you think about my speech? It was a sad speech. But then it was interesting. You liked it and you wanted to listen to it. So, when you're asked to do a presentation, ensure that you prepare well and make it interesting. So don't start with, my name is, no. Start with something interesting. Start with a story. Start with saying something that will make people want to listen to you. After watching this, you're going to prepare a presentation for me. Okay? Prepare a presentation and try to use all the things I've taught you in this video. Do not start with, my name is, I don't want to hear that. Okay? Begin your presentation with a story, a question or a statement. Something that will make people want to listen to you. Did you enjoy this video? Let me know. Please drop a like. Okay? You see the like, like button? Tap it and then subscribe to my channel. Share this video for your friends to learn how to make excellent presentations and how to start their presentations so that everyone would want to listen to them. Love you darlings. Bye bye.